Just imagine being an armadillo, rolling around, searching for breakfast. And suddenly, you turn into this, a buff armadillo. Now, let me tell you about these coyotes. They might look adorable and friendly, but no, they've figured out a way to modify their genes and turn into this thing, whatever the heck that is. Now, these packs of coyotes have one purpose, eat all the armadillos. So this is Hardcore Minecraft, and for the next 100 days, I'm going to be surviving as an armadillo and have to build my own team to save the world from evil coyotes. So my journey begins on day one. I spawned in as a baby armadillo. And look at me, I was completely adorable. Now next to me was my trusty pack of armadillos. What's up guys? How you doing? Now, the real question is, where's the breakfast? Huh? I'm trying to eat some breakfast right now. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Dude, it's a snail. Whoa, let me just, there we go. Gotta give me some, oh, what's going on? I'm on a snail. What, what's happening? What, what's happening? Oh, what in the world? Ow, ow, nature. You crazy, dude. Oh, looks like all the armadillos are uh, eating the snails right now. Let me just go get some more snails. This is gonna be my breakfast for the night. So, I continued eating the snails with my pack of armadillos. Once we picked up a bunch, we decided to keep on moving forward. And my armadillos kept going crazy over the snails. They, they, they literally wouldn't stop. Look at them. Oh! No, no! No, no! It's a rattlesnake! No, no! I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Get back! What? Oh, no! Now the kangaroos attack me. No, nature! Why do you want to kill me so badly? I guess an armadillo minding my own business. Look at this thing. It's literally trying to aim me right now. Looks like being in the bottom of the food chain made things a little bit difficult. Especially when literally everything wants to eat you. Including these rattlesnakes and even lions. Chill, lion. You know what? You don't want this. Look, it looks like he's hunting me. Yeah, he's walking over here. Whoa! No! What the heck? No, no. Get back. Oh. Huh. Oh, lion's gone. All right, cool. I then found this baby armadillo, and he looked a little bit hungry. So I gave him some snails. Here you go, buddy. Have a snail. Enjoy. We armadillos must stick as a pack and eat some good old snails. You see? It's pretty busted, right? Not bad at all. I had some kangaroo meat inside of my inventory, so I ate it in front of a kangaroo. And then came across a bunch of watermelons, and it looked pretty good. So I broke it. And the next thing you know, water started pouring out of it. How does this even make any sense? Huh? What? What just, what just happened? Well, you don't see that every day. And then broke more watermelons. But the armadillos started surrounding me. They clearly wanted some melons. Now this kangaroo over here wanted some as well. He started chasing me and picked me up and placed me inside of his pouch. Can you believe this? Uh, is this supposed to be happening? I'm inside of the kangaroo pouch. Hey! Let me go! Get me out of here! Oh, this is terrifying. Well, it was officially nighttime. So, I gave my watermelons to my armadillos. He then ate them and fell asleep. On day two, I woke up to a pack of armadillos surrounding me. Now, they were clearly starving. So, I decided to give them some good old breakfast. And then spotted this elephant in the distance. What in the world is going on here? I decided to walk on over to the elephant and see what he was doing. Mr. Elephant, are you good? Are you, are you stuck? I can't tell if he's stuck or if he's trying to eat this tree over here. I spotted an orange village in the distance. So I walked on over to it just to check it out. You never know, we're gonna find some pretty good things. And as an armadillo, I'm gonna need tons of gear, especially some armor. I think the craziest part is how tiny I am. I'm literally the size of a block. And this giraffe over here is like a gigantic titan. What the heck is this? Ooh, an emu egg. I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Do armadillos eat eggs? I'm pretty sure I don't take fall damage. Oh, okay. I do take fall damage. Never mind. So, it turns out that hiding in your shell while jumping off a mountain makes you unkillable. Look at this. But if I'm not in my shell, I do take fall damage. Oh, okay. That's a lot of fall damage. Ooh, what is this over here? Oh, this is kind of promising. There's a chest right there. I'm just gonna break on through here. Do not mind me. Are there any villagers? Oh, okay. I don't think these villagers can see me. Oh, what's some cake? Let me get some. Uh. What? What is. What just happened? Huh? It's a baby emu! Oh! 
Hello, Emu. I am your father from now on. I then found an iron pickaxe inside of a chest and some wheat. And right next to it was an anvil. So I silently stole it from the villagers along with these furnace blocks. And then I realized, um, where's my son? My son is gone. Baby Emu. No. Oh, he definitely escaped. Well, hopefully he doesn't get eaten by a line or something. I then continued looting this building and only found three pieces of coal. I walked outside and there was another building. So oh, well, I climbed up the stairs and went inside of someone's house. I then ransacked the chest containing bread and another iron pickaxe. I found these pack of coyotes just minding their own business. So just for fun, I decided why not use the anvil that I just recently picked up to see if I can fly on a coyote. What? What's wrong with that? Did you forget that coyotes just love eating armadillos? Huh? Oh, this coyote has no idea what's about to hit him. Here we go. And... Whoa! What the... Holy mooses. He just exploded into tiny pieces. Okay, here's the thing. To me, this was just a prank. But to his friend, he wasn't so fond of that. It's... It's not a... Oh, no! No, 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 no. I'm at four hearts. Okay. Oh, flip. Oh, no. I'm being chased. There's a coyote after me. Nope. Oh, wait. Where'd it go? <laughs> I lost that coyote, bro. Oh, no. Never mind. I gotta go. No, no. He's after me. I kept on running from the coyote. He just kept on chasing me and wouldn't leave me alone. So, I climbed up this mountain looking for help. But nobody was there. Don't eat me. E eat the other armadillos. I'm just an innocent baby armadillo. There's a rhino. There's a rhino. Rhino, please help. Rhino, attack it. Oh, no, no, no. Armadillos. Guys, we have an issue. There's coyotes. And they're trying to eat me right now. Oh, I'm going to hide. Oh, no. I'm hiding. I was just chilling there inside of my shell, completely helpless, surrounded by a pack of coyotes. But then I heard a sudden voice in the distance. I'm coming. What the heck? Hello. No, they just killed my friends. There's another baby armadillo. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Can you please save me from this coyote over here? It's trying to- I got wow. you! Wow! This baby armadillo came to my rescue. She was crazy. Every time she hid inside of her shell, the rhinos nor the coyotes could actually damage her. And soon as she got out of her shell, she would just launch them away. The whoa! How did you- How did you- Ow! Ah! Uh, I didn't know I could do that. How did you- Wait, what? I'm okay. Are you- Are you- Are you sure? You just kind of flew like a thousand miles away. Hi. I'm Messina. Oh, you're Messina. Oh, I'm Moose. That's kind of funny. What? We look like we have the same name or something. Huh. It's kind of odd. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Well, thanks for saving me. Oh, that, that was, uh, it's really helpful. It just- This giraffe is trying to step on me now. It, 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 sir, please. Stop, don't look at me like that. Stop. Stop that. Why were they trying to chase you? Oh, um, uh, you know, I gave them a, 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 a anvil as a birthday gift. Um, there's one right behind you. Just act normal. Uh-oh. An anvil? That same coyote brought his pack <laughs> to come eat us alive. So, we kept on running for the rest of the day, trying to find a spot to hide far away from the coyotes. And what do you know? They tried to eat me. Well, was it their birthday? Um, yeah. Let's just say it was a birthday. On the night of days three and four, we were surrounded by a bunch of phantoms. We tried fortifying the base to keep them out, but it wasn't working. But luckily, Lucina found this random hole in the floor. So we jumped on down and hid inside. I got a lantern. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to die tonight. Let's just go to sleep. Night. So we hid inside of our shells and went to sleep. But I started hallucinating and woke up in a new dimension. Where am I? What is this place? Um, hello? Moose, I brought you here for a reason. I am Scar, and I need your help. What the heck are you doing in my dreams? Dude, I- You have an important mission ahead of you. You need a mentor. Uh, okay, bro, but I'm just trying to live a normal armadillo life. Not go on some side quest. Bruh. I was an armadillo just like you once. But 
then my family got attacked by a pack of coyotes. And they messed me up. Now, I look like this. But the point is, my armadillo family did not die for some random noob like you to live a normal life instead of carrying on our legacy. Wow, that's pretty deep, dude. But when you put it that way, I mean, I guess you're kind of right. So tell me, what the heck do I got to do to, to avenge your family and, and, and you? Because you look like a superhero with an X on your scar or X on your chest. <sighs> you get the point, bro. Travel to the giant volcano and collect the adultus fruit and create a team of pillows. Wait, you want me to go to a gigantic volcano to get a piece of fruit and that's supposed to save you? Bro, what the heck are you talking about? Dude, just get out of here. Oh, okay. Wait, he's gone. Bro, what just happened? I woke up from my dream. <gasps> I couldn't tell if this is real or just a nightmare. So I told Musina about Scar and the fruit that he wanted me to find near the volcano. And surprisingly, she believed me. Does that make any sense to you? Finding fruits in a volcano? But why are there fruits in a volcano? Have you seen a volcano? No. But I do see this crow over here just looking into my soul. Ah! So on these five through seven, Musina and I went on an adventure to find the adultus fruit that Scar told us about. Except this savannah biome was filled with these lions that wanted to eat us. Oh, Mr. Lions, I'm gonna pet you. Oh, I pet it. Oh, oh, what the? Oh, snap. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Oh, snap. Get back. Oh, where's he? Where's he go? Oh. Down here, lion! Did you, did you fall down there? Is this an old? No. Oh, oh no! Is it a honey oh, badger? A honey badger, run! Did you? Oh, there you are. Why? I thought honey badgers are friendly. Honey badgers are so dangerous. Wait, seriously? I didn't know that. Hold on a second, Mr. Honey They're Badger. Really are you though. friendly? You seem friendly. Oh! I am a honey badger armadillo. Look at me! I'm like. I'm like transforming. Badgerillo. Badgerillo. Ow! Ow, snap! He's also vicious! Ow, get back! Ow, no! Dang it! Oh. We're, we're just... I'm right behind we're just, you. We're okay. just not going to talk about that. He's, he's gone. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yay! We proceeded, making our way through the savannah, facing even more lions. But with the help of Musina, they didn't stand a chance. I don't think we taste uh, good. I mean... I don't think lions never ate an armadillo, but I wonder if it's busted. Moose! What? You're I, an armadillo! Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, my bad, I forgot. Okay, let's go. How could you forget? We're so small. I gotta say, having a friend helping me out was amazing. Fighting off boars and other things was made way easier. Now, as the sun was starting to set, we found this village in the distance and came across a pack of tigers that wanted to eat us for a late night snack. On days eight through 10, Musina spotted a baby gazelle on the way to the village. <gasps> Stay still, stay still. What? Just, just go in and show. This is a spider. Oh, no, no. You hate spiders, right? I don't like spiders either. Uh, let's run, run right, to the village, to the village. I love how you're just like crawling with your shell. That's so funny. I need to. Hello, my fellow villagers. We come in peace. It is me and we, oh oh I um the villager has taken me. <gasps> no! Why does everybody pick me up? Get 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 put me down! This guy's not friendly. I think he's like an evil villager. We stole all of their hail blocks and the melons so we could have unlimited food. Do you even have any weapons? Uh, I got my shell. Oh yeah, that is kind of like the most powerful weapon you got. Hello, Mr. Villager. Hi, villager. We then moved on to the villagers' houses, searching for gear or maybe some armor to protect ourselves. Hey, I'm on the emu. You're on the emu? Wait, how did you? Oh, look. We see this part of the emu. Just watch out for these elephants. You don't want to get an elephant mad. That'd be, that'd be pretty bad. Okay. Oh, 
baby Look! elephants. It's literally baby elephants. They're so adorable. Wait. I love them. Why is there why is there so many elephants, right? You seeing this? Hello, Mr. Villagers. Look, they're like in an intense trade-off. You see this? They're thinking about, uh -huh. do we want this piece of seed? Here you go. Have a snail. Snails are kind of like golden apples, but for uh, for an armadillo. Because we get absorption. Uh -huh. And then we also get this thing. Or whatever this thing is. Maybe we can send the elephants. Pet the elephants? I mean, you you can be my guest. I'll just watch you. You know, I, you, can, you can be the test subject. How about that? I'm going to pet this one. Do it. He's big and gray. Yeah, he's a little bit... Ah! Oh! 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 You, oh, you, you almost killed me! Ow! Oh, Ryan! What's going on? Why would you... That's not petting it! That's literally hurting it! Oh, what in the... Huh? Ryan! Musina ended up getting the elephants mad. And they started stomping on the entire village. Even the iron golems had to step in. This was a complete massacre. You gotta remember, these elephants are not only big, but they're extremely heavy. One long step, and we're goners. Christina, I see you! You're on the tree! Oh! What? How was that even? I'm in the tree! Here, I'll look through the window. Ow! Hey, stop! Hey, I'm over here. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh! Uh, well, uh, looks like we're, um, we're trapped in here. Forever. Here, have a snail. Well, as the night started setting, we were all alone, trapped inside of the villagers' home, surrounded by angry elephants waiting to kill us. Who knew that nature would be so dangerous? Hey, Lucina, it's been a little bit. Yeah. Let, me, let me let me go see if the coast is clear. Uh, be oh, careful. elephants! I have melons. I come in peace. Here, have a melon. You too. Uh, I think I think they're good. Yeah. Oh, neat. Sweet. Let's get out of here. Whoop. I don't think they're mad anymore. Hello? No, no, no. What's here? What's here? Watch out! Watch out! It's back! What? It's back! It's ah! back! Oh, dude, we have no weapons either. Hide in a shell. Use our shells. Watch out for the creeper. Oh, get in the shell. Ah! Ready? Let's attack the elephant. Stay back. Oh, wow. Oh, ah! my bad. Ow, I'm so... Ow! He's, how is he so fast? Since when can elephants run super quick? I, I've never seen they that before. They can always run quick. What do you mean? They're so thick. During the mornings of days 11 to 14, Zina and I were having some fun, exploring the beach and fighting coyotes. We then spotted a fellow turtle friend waddling away to the water. Look at oh, this there's thing. another one. There's another one? Oh, it's so adorable. Wait, can I jump on it? Oh, I am. You can get on the turtle. Armadillo turtle. What? <laughs> oh, I have an idea. What are you thinking? Oh, he's scared. What if we got armor that's just as strong as their shells? Oh, it's a good idea. Like a armadillo shell, right? Oh, oh. Where'd he go? He's, he's just, he's gone. He just disappeared. I don't know. Well, I got an idea. I say oh, we keep up. Here, oh, there's a puppy. Look, I found a puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. It's so adorable. Do you want a puppy? Do you want a pet puppy? I want a puppy. Okay, let's get you a puppy. We needed a new member of our family. So, we spotted a nearby vase and broke it. Then found a chest containing bones and golden apples. And then crafted a set of shears and used it on the nearby armadillos to give me these armor shells. We tried to tame some puppies, but instead, these coyotes just kept following me. So, I fought them off. And Musina finally got a dog. But then 10 seconds later, he got eaten by an alligator. Ow, snap! Ow, nature! No! Not... You good? Oh, um, no. I'm not good. I'm not good. Musina, all I gotta say to that is welcome to nature. This is how it goes. All right, come on, follow me. We're gonna get you another one. I got, I got more bones. I got another bone. So I just get a piece of log, and then here, here's another puppy right here. Look at it. Puppy! He's even, he's even got his paws wet. Look at this little dude. Love. Look, there's more. There's a whole pack puppy! of uh, wolves. Come on, let's get you a new puppy. And then while you get the puppy, I'm just gonna chop down this tree. Oh, wait, wait. I got a puppy. You got a puppy? I got two puppies. Oh, watch out. 
Who's gonna watch out for the tree? Oh, I'm stuck. No. Oh. Save him. Wow. This wolf almost got hit by a tree. You know, you're a lucky one, buddy. Lucina found even more puppies in the distance, and she kept on taming them. Adopting a bunch of puppies, which is great and all, but who's gonna feed them? Hmm? Not me. You have so many of them now. You you have literally single-handedly tamed the entire wolf population. And I'm gonna make mm -hmm. us a crafting table. And then check this out. Where, huh? Wait. I'm right here. Where did, where'd it go? What? I I you know what? I'm, I'm just not I'm just not even gonna talk about it. Just don't even worry about it. To keep our puppies safe, I grabbed our armor shells and then crafted the wolf armor for my dogs. Now, with this thing on, our army of puppies will be invincible. Oh, look at him! And you two, uh, I, I only have one. I'm so sorry. I mean, I guess I could get a few more. There you go. Cough it up! I'm so sorry, Armadillo. Whoa. I'm just trying to get some more shells from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you want all of them to have wolf armor, or you only want one? Yes! All of them! Okay, if you say so. Here, I'm gonna drop them for you. Here, take this one. There you go. Take this. And just oh, simply okay. grab it, and then right-click your puppy. And that should do it. Ready? Boom. There you go. I already got one for this one. Okay, we're gonna call this one Spock. <laughs> and you'll be called Breakfast. And 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 you'll be called Moose Those are awful names. But well, I, 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 I couldn't think of anything else, honestly. Moose, it's another dog. There's another one? Masita, I don't wanna be that guy, but I don't think we need any more dogs. We have four of them. This is our family. Is that another one? You got another one? How many, how many dogs are you going to get? That's the last one. I can't even. That one's going to be called Moose Bolt then. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Well, we were officially ready to find the adult's fruit. Now, with our army of armadillo puppies, we were unstoppable. And no alligators would be eating our dogs. And no more coyotes would stand a chance. On days 15 through 20, I spotted an army of frogs inside the swamp biome. Uh, what is it? I'm hungry. You're hungry? I mean, there's literally frogs over there and, and armadillos love eating frogs. It's like, it's like a little snack. It's kind of like some breakfast. It, 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 uh, Spock, what are you doing, bro? You gotta Red. get the frogs. Yeah, the, uh, the only issue is though, there's a bunch of alligators and there's a, there's a moose for some reason. Just like us. Ooh, moose. There's like four mooses right now. We jumped into the water infested with alligators. Now, if you didn't know, we armadillos love to eat some frogs. This is like a good source of breakfast. Do you want Hi. to be my dinner? Oh, <gasps> what the? Oh! Nature, what is going on? Get, let my dog go! Let my dog oh, go! Oh, no! Go oh, tell me. Did he, did he eat your dog? No, he's trying to eat my dog. Hey! Stay away from Spock! He's part of the family! One, two, three... Four. Wasn't there one more? I'm missing one! No! Now, these frogs might look tiny, but do not let them deceive you. These are extremely dangerous amphibians. Look at this! They can slap you with their giant tongues and try to swallow you. I'm a little about to die. No, no, no! What? I'm coming! Help! There's an army of frogs! Oh, yeah? Try to eat me while I'm on my shell. Now you can't do nothing! Stay oh. in your shell! I'm still on my shell. You got this one. Get back. Bad frogs. Did you get him? Wow. That was, uh, that was pretty good. You are no match for me. Oh, that's, that's got to hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wolves. Hey. The... Oh. I just watched my family die. You know what? That's it. I'm over the dogs. You got to go. You guys got to go. no. The moose attacked me. Bruh, you gotta be kidding me. Smack him. Use your shell. Smack him. Make him flop over. Oh, dang it. Ah! Ah, no, dang it. Stop attacking me. Ah. Our puppies were going to town, eating these frogs like a snack. And with the help of the wolf farmer, nothing was able to hurt them. Come on, just get it. It's just a little frog. He's good at fighting. What's he gonna do? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that kind of hurts. What are you looking at, bird? Uh, <laughs> this dude. Help, help, help. Oh, 
come on. There's Lucina. so many frogs. I left you alone for like I'm one in the second. Middle of the frogs. All right, I got you. Let me show how it's done. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, they're coming oh, up. Here they are. <laughs> Yo, look at them go. Uh, what's that? You seen this? What the? What? Huh? What's that? You, you, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Ow. We continued fighting armies of frogs throughout the swamp biome. Dodging their tongues wasn't so easy, but watching them flop was hilarious. And along the way, we spotted this buff frog hopping around. So we went towards him. Watch out! There's an alligator uh, in the way. Oh no! Oh, he's got me! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh, just, just punch it! I'm helping! Punch it! I'm helping! I just... Ow! Hey, put me down! Bruh! I'm helping! Oh, what the heck? Still alive? Oh, get me out of the water! Get me out of the water! I don't want to be here anymore. See what all this fuss is about. Look at that thing, bro. It's so ugly. Ooh. Why is it... Looks like a big frog. Hey, bruh. That's what I'm saying. Well, you on my turf, bruh. What, what, did, you, what did you say to me? Oh, bruh. Uh, we're, we're just trying to eat some frogs here, bruh. Wait, oh. they're frogs eating what? frogs? Yeah, bruh. What What? What do you mean? Now, get off my turf and never come back, bruh. Wait, you eat your own kind? Like, like you eat frogs? Did I say leave, bruh? Well, we're not leaving. Well, see, stand your ground. Change your ground. You leave. We're not leaving. Exactly. And you can't do anything about us. Ugly frog. If you touch my frogs, you're going to deal with me, bruh. I already did. Oh, oh, he's running away. I smacked your frog. Wow. That was pretty good, Musina. Ribbit. Ribbit. Wow, you scared him off. I'd be scared too. I mean, I've seen you knock back a few things. That, 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 was, that was terrifying. Ribbit. Whoa. Okay. Well, let's go see what he had. I'm just going to go steal his stuff. You want to fight? You wanna fight? Come at me! Oh, oh okay. I, I'm gonna have to hold you back. Lucina, you know, get, get get back. I'm gonna have to hold, hold you me back. Hold I'm, me back. I'm holding you back. Hold me back. I'm <laughs> holding you back. I say we just go mess with more frogs. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm a baby <laughs> armadillo. I'm strong. <laughs> I'm fierce. Okay. You, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Good. Good, bro. Well, this buff frog was finally gone. So, we went over to his lily pad and started eating more of his puny frogs, watching them flop around. Oh, and my puppy Spock ended up getting stolen by an alligator. And afterwards, I stole all of his emerald blocks. That will teach the buff frog to never mess with an armadillo. On days 21 to 25, I watched an alligator get eaten by a giant anaconda. Look at that thing. Oh, oh. That it's is terrifying. So yeah, yeah, go, go, go here, go, 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 touch it. Go what? see, go no, see if it's gonna, it's like, gonna eat, eat you. I don't think it's gonna eat you. Look, he's kind of friendly. Oh, 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 snap! He's trying to hit me. You chill. Yo, yeah, get away. No, no, get, get back. Bad, bad anaconda. Oh, get back, oh get no, back. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not messing with that thing. Oh, it's out of the water. It's out, it? out of the water now. Wow. Oh, it's not out of the water. Why are you attacking me? <gasps> oh. Whoa. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at the lava! That's what I'm saying! And look at the faces! Why do they look so it's ugly? volcano! Yeah, look at that thing! Oh, wait! This is it! Hold on, Musina! This is it! What? The adult what, what? fruit is here! The, the, the oh, guy in my dreams, he told me to go to a volcano. volcano! Yeah, that's what I'm saying! Wait, let's go up this uh, little thing over there! Maybe we can get like a better view or something! Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go! Musina wanted to jump off a mountain with me! So, I went for it! And she ended up falling into a hole. I fell somewhere. It looks like it's a mine. Where, what the? Huh? What is this? Oh, oh, oh. That was a close one. You Ow! made it. It turns out that underneath the volcano was a copper golem mine shaft. And for some reason, they love lifting weights. Hey, we're I Oh, I'm a dillo. Run, 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 run. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait. Hide in here, hide in here. Where's my basketball? What is that thing? Basketball? That thing bounced, bro. Did you see that? Basketballs. Huh? Basketballs? Are you scared of me? Here, take some copper. Ah, it's really nice. It's throwing poison. Ah. Okay. All right, Lucina, I'm hiding All right. away from it. I'll protect you. You're not you. hiding from me. Hey, I'm hey, right hey, behind hey. you. Get away. Get away from the armadillo. Get away from the armadillo. Get away. Oh, what the heck? 
You should just call me my father, Warden Golem. See him. We don't want to meet no Warden Golem. We're trying to look for a fruit. What? A Warden who? I'm not trying to see no Warden Golems. Warders are dangerous. They eat people. They're not even friendly. We're not looking for trouble. Yeah, what she said. But if you start it, I, I will end I, you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm just trying to work out my dumbbells here. What in the world is going on here? What is this place? It's some kind of a volcano underground civilization of copper. What are you? Copper golem or something? Yeah, these are all uh, workers. We're working for the wardens. But but uh, well, that fruit that you guys were talking about. You're talking about the fruit that grows right next to me that in the jungle bomb above me. Oh, you heard that combo? Oh, what? yeah, we're, we're actually, uh, we're here on a mission. Well, this guy named Scar sent us to find, uh, it's called an adultus fruit. And yeah, an adultus a, fruit. Yeah, and it's supposed to be at a volcano. I, I don't remember asking, but when you guys get that fruit, just bring me some. I'm getting really hungry. Oh, okay. And you said it's in the jungle bomb above us? Yeah, where's that? Yeah, just don't, don't go inside <laughs> the volcano without telling me. Okay, whatever okay, you said. Bye. My father might get really mad. Here, uh, basketball! Right. Ah. Well, from the looks of it, the copper golems knew exactly where the adultus fruit was. It's literally in the jungle next door. Bruh. So, I proceeded to go through these tough jungle terrains. And I ended up finding a gorilla. And all he wanted was some bamboo. What if we climb the trees and, and maybe we can get like a, a better... Oh, come here! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... I just got a little bit of a little flashback from the previous coyote. Okay. Oh, that, was, that was kind of terrifying. You really hate those coyotes. Oh! Oh, there's a coyote up here! Get it! Stay, stay away! Oh no. Oh no, no. We finally made it to the coyote base camp. And right in front of me was an army of coyotes. So we ambushed them. And it turns out they were guarding the adultus fruit. Which looked exactly like a watermelon. Oh, you see that quickly. It's okay. Get my back. Oh, they're going at me. Oh, see there's the so show. many. See the show, ready? No, no. Oh. 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 No, no. Get back. Oh. Stay away. No, chill. Chill. Oh, no. Ah. I'm trying to see them. Try to get to you. Get them no. all near me. I got him. Here we go. There's so many of them. No. It's okay. It's okay. What the heck am I doing? I'm on the back of this thing. At first, I thought that we were outnumbered. But then I realized I'm built like a turtle. So I hid in my shell. It started going off on these coyotes. Hold on, hold on. I mean, what do I have for it? You got this, Mosquito. Take it out. I got you, I got you. I'm eating a stale. This one kind of seems friendly. I'll take it out. It's not even. I what the heck is wrong with it? What is it made of? Hey! There was just one coyote left. And for some reason, this thing was invincible. Every attack we tried just wasn't working. It's just chilling in fire, menacingly. You ever, you ever had coyote meat? No. Well, time to eat it for breakfast. Here, here, I got them. Watch this, Masita. I call this the ultimate cooked armadillo. It didn't do anything. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hit me, hit me, hit me. We'll send them flying. Oh, I got you, I got you. Here, wait, 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 wait where'd you go? Right here, ready? Oh, this thing's definitely glitched out. Look at this thing. It's so goofy. All right, Wasita. Show them how it's done. All right. Do it. Oh. Nothing. Nothing happened. I think it's glitched out. It, you just... Look at him. He's just broken. What in the world? Well, we finally found the adultus fruit. And afterwards, we lured the nearby chests containing gold and some apples. And where's your, uh, where's your adultus fruit? It's in my hand. I turned around oh. and saw a purple coyote... <laughs> Just staring at me. I do the show, huh? I do the show. You better watch your back. What the heck is that? Is that a dinosaur? Get out of here or I'm gonna beat you up. Run. No, go, 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 go. Run, run, get out of here, get out of here. Ah. Go, go, go. No. This is my territory, get out of here, go, go, go. It's a, it's a purple dinosaur. Uh, it's a coyote looking dinosaur. I'm Where running. The, Where'd these armadillos go? I'm oh. hungry for my snack. We kept on running for the night. I did not want to fight that purple looking coyote. Well, on the bright side, I finally had the adultus fruit in my possession. And Scar would be very proud. Days 31 to 37, I watched the sunrise while holding my adultus fruit. I was finally ready 
to try this thing for some breakfast. You're gonna take me on a picnic? That's what I'm saying, a picnic! Let me show you how a pro can chop down a tree. Moose? What is it? The fox. Who? The fox? Oh! oh, watch out! Oh, watch out! Oh! That was close. Wow, that almost killed me. Wait, the fox? Are you talking about that fox over there? What's that thing? You're the big one! What the heck is this? Hold on a second. Let's go! We checked out this gigantic fox base, which looked like a hobbit hole. Now, I don't know who it belonged to, but there was a bunch of sweet berries for me to steal. What is this? Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. what is going on over there? You, look, look down there. What is that? I don't know what that is, but it's, it looks like it's just loving whatever it's eating. Huh, I don't know, but this is a pretty good spot, Musina, to eat the adult's fruit. Okay, ready? We're gonna do it together. Right by the flowers. Right by the flowers, yeah. Three, two, two one. one. No! What the? What the, the? I transformed into an adult armadillo. No longer was I a puny baby. But now, I was much bigger and stronger. What is going on over there? What's happening down there? Is that there? another armadillo? It's an armadillo! Oh, we gotta save it. Hey! Hey! Stay away from my armadillo friends! Get back! Ow, it's a little baby! Hey! Ow! It's, dude, they still hurt! Hey, 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 hey! You want some of this, huh? You want some of this? You take this! I'm sorry! Oh! Oh! Okay! Oh! That was a close one! You got it! Yeah! Alright, let's get the heck out of here! Ow! Lucina's stuck! <laughs> and I'm loose! Wait! Ow! 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 What is it? Now that we've gone on this adventure and are going on a nice picnic. Uh-huh. We should move in together. Are you asking me on a date? What? Oh, 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 move in together. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I, wait, the picnic is a date. Uh, oh, uh, sure, we'll leave it as that. You want to move in together? I just met you like 40 days ago. Something like that. We grew up together. Oh, I mean, you got a point there. All right, let's move in together. Let's move in together. Our room is going to be amazing. Please don't make it pink. We started searching through different locations, looking for a base to set up my armadillo community. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Have a heart! Have a heart, Monsieur! I'm literally about to die! No! 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 There's two! There's two of them! They're playing football with me! No! I'm coming! I'm coming! I don't swim very fast. They're playing soccer with me! Monsieur! I can't let go. Oh no! Help! Kill it! I got you! Please help me! If I if I unshell, I I'll, I'll, I'll die. Oh! Stay in your me. shell! Stay in your stop shell! Me. Back off! Oh! What the? What the? I'm running. Okay, you got this one. I'll protect I mean, you. Ah, oh, he's got oh. me! Oh no! Okay, not anymore. I'm coming. Oh, there's another! There's another this? one! Oh. No, that's not! Stop it! Ow! Where are they coming from? They just come out of nowhere! Get back! Ah! No, you don't! Yep! Get, get off of me! Leave! Leave Musina alone! I'm coming! Alone. I'm coming! Oh. You saved me! Oh, yeah! That was great! Just only almost had a heart attack, but. Hey, you! You scary! Ma. Okay, I'm running away. What? Come back! I was finally ready to build the armor cave. So, I traveled back to the savannah and found this, a gigantic hole in the wall. We went inside and placed on a bunch of torches, then started working on the front of the entrance. I made it out of some mud, combined with dirt and some brown concrete. I then created a path for the entrance, so this way we know where we're going. Anyways, I finished up the front and spotted an elephant. I started working on the top of the base. Now. I moved on to the sides. You don't want people breaking in from the corner, right? This entire place was based off of a gigantic armadillo shell. I don't know if you can tell. So, for the inside, I used different types of woods to create a fancy floor. Oh, and can't forget about the support beams. You don't want this place to collapse. I then connected the caves together with these stairs. I even hung up some lanterns so it wasn't too dark. Now, it was time for the patio. I built it out of some planks and added a fancy entrance with some cobblestone railings. I even added hedges, which 
which honestly just didn't look too good because of the biome. Okay, it still kind of felt empty, so I added a gigantic staircase leading to the top of the mountain. I even built a chimney with a fancy tree right next to it to make it feel cozy. Okay, it was time for the finishing details. I outlined it with some more wood and planted this tree right next to it. I just didn't know what to put on the left side. But still, it felt like it was just missing something. So, I built a gigantic armadillo face. This way, the armadillos would never miss this place. So, what do you think? It looks pretty good, right? It's beautiful. Look at it. It's... That's what I'm saying. It's an armadillo. Now, let's go to the interior. We don't have that much blocks, but just enough to make a busted interior. I was so excited to build the interior of this place. So, I decorated it by making a tiny kitchen. Across it, I placed down a bunch of emerald blocks. Now, underneath the floor, I created a storage room with some chests. For our bedroom, I made the flooring out of hay to give it some cushion. And right behind it, we made a tiny sweet berry farm because Musina just really wanted it. All we needed was a spot for Spock. Bed and perfect. Moose. What? You gotta put it right here. What? Okay, fine, 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 fine. There you go. Boom. Bust it. Look, oh, Look our bed is so beautiful. All right, well, that's gonna do it for now. And we could even, like, I mean, we got more hay bales, so we could always just expand this out and make it look even fancier. Um, totally uh -huh. up to us. Oh, that sounds amazing. Just like this. Do something like that. And maybe something over here. Oh, yeah, we could, we could do, like, a little storage right here so that we can, like, have our personal stuff right there. We'll use barrels. So once we get barrels, we'll put it right here. Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at this place, yo. It'll look so so good with the hay. The entire walls are made of hay bales. One fire and everything burns down. That's not what you really want, but <laughs> you never know what can happen in Minecraft. Boom. Perfect. We did so good. Oh yeah, we, we totally did really good. Even though I did all the work. I supported you and I cheered you on over and over. Didn't you hear me? Go, Moose, go. Go, Moose, go. Bro, she literally did nothing at all. But you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to say anything. We're, we're just going to leave it as that. Subscribe for breakfast! Well, we spotted the armadillos in the distance. So, we went towards them. Please, stay here. Sit. Oh, I don't think I'm sitting. I am one with the armadillo. <laughs> we were on a mission to recruit the pack of armadillos. But right behind them were a bunch of sniffers. And this was our first time encountering them oh, you smell funky real funky i found an ancient plant which the sniffer dropped and afterwards i stumbled across this gigantic sniffer base it looks like a it looks like a giant bird what is it doing why does it look like french fries sticking out of a car? it, it kind of does right it reminds me of like a oh wow you're so right it's literally french fries bro it's french fries you know, right. Now that I've seen it, I don't think I can ever unsee it, though. That's that's probably the funniest part. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, I say we take the armadillos, and we just get the heck on out of here. Armadillos! No uh, I don't know if I want a french fry. It looks a little bit dangerous. And who knows? Maybe he belongs to some kind of a sniffer dude. And we don't want to be messing with other factions that don't look like us. You are so ugly. I, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. That, that was a little bit rude. I think he is kind of cute. He's like us with like six legs. All right, come on, everybody. Follow me. We go back to the base. I took my army of armadillos through the desert and across these harsh waters. Oh, Cody. Bruh. Ah. <laughs> it just explodes. It just literally explodes into tiny pieces. And we finally made it back to the base. Do not mess with Musina. Wow, that was kind of epic, low-key. Like, what like, did you think about that? That was pretty epic, right? Yeah, my hero. Okay, never mind. You know what? That was not epic. All right, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Dillo, friends. Follow me, my friends. And welcome to your base. So this is officially the Armadillo base. It. Why, why, is, there, why is there a line on top of our base? <gasps> oh, no. You see, no? the elephants are oh. back. Do you think they know? I think... Oh, they're cute. They're cute. 
but they tried to kill you last time. Did you forget? I brought the armadillos inside the armor cave. I introduced them around and then realized we had no watermelons for them. So I became a farmer. And then melon, 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 and melon. Perfect. Now this... Oh, oh, where, was it, what just happened? Dude, these armadillos are crazy. They got like a mind of their own. Name him Fred. Now for the pumpkins, let's put it here. And I also have ancient plants. Lucina, do you want to do the honors of this one? Here you go. One, two, oh. three. Bro, bro get, get, uh, get out of... Armadillo, please. I just brought you home. Get out of here. I'm trying to work here, bro. Lucina, here you go. There you go. Please take my seeds. Don't confuse me for the other two. I'm the I'm the real armadillo. Okay. Wait, I didn't get it. Bro, what do you mean? I got a beet root. Which one of your armadillos stole my stuff? There were so many armadillos that I couldn't even tell which one was Musina. Here you go, Musina. There you go, buddy. So just plant some of these bamboo. That would be. No. Where are you going? Wait. That's that's not me. <gasps> oh. I'm right here. Oh oh. Me apart. I, I don't know. You guys look literally the same. We've known each other since we were babies. Just 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 plant. Take plant. Anyways, we planted the ancient plants and fortified our base with some bamboo to keep the giraffes out. Now, I can't say the same for the phantoms. On days 43 to 46, it was finally time to build a new habitat for my armadillos. Hey, get off my bed! Get, get off! Oh. You see what I'm saying? Hey, this is this is exactly what I mean, Musina. I tell you, if we don't give them their own place, they're gonna be jumping on our beds, thinking it's literally like a. What do you think this is? A, a little bouncing bed or something? Hmm? Musina was in charge of pond duty. So what that meant is she had to build a pond without flooding the entire base. All right, Musina, here you go. Wait, which one's Musina? <laughs> Uh, Musina, I I'm can't tell you apart. I'm, oh, this one. Okay, here you go. Take this and take this. I not tell me apart. I, I, you, every, everyone looks the same. That, that's the only issue. Everybody literally looks the same right now. Aren't I beautiful? Are you drowning? Are, are you? Bro, are you good? I think we need some lily pads. So when the, when the actual armadillos go swimming, they can always get on top of a lily pad. And it turns out the coyotes had stuck inside through this gigantic hole behind our base. This is not good. See, now I got an idea. What is this? Oh, a coyote head. Uh, uh, I don't... What? This is messed up. I don't want this. So, I patched up the hole. I built in a glass window so my armadillos would have a nice view. I then dug a hole in the floor and made a gigantic hay bed. Afterwards, I had these torches and placed down paintings and some watermelons giving this room a whole new vibe. How about this? As soon as you walk inside, you're gonna see a painting right here. Oh, amazing, the classic pig. And then extend the deck and turn this area into a podium to speak to my fellow armadillos. Now, I'm not gonna say it's, it's bad. Definitely an interesting choice of colors, Musina. Why is it pink? Wait, I didn't, I actually, wait, no, I didn't put that down. What, then who did? down what what do you mean i thought you put that down no i didn't put this down anyways i placed down the lectern and finally completed my podium we got some more hay in case you need like another bed to crash at you mean another bed oh, oh uh you know in case i get kicked off the couch i get to stay in my own bed right there i also made a watermelon dispenser to feed my armadillos when i'm not here watermelon slices for everybody perfect huh did you hear that? There's a bird in here. Oh, hey. Did you hear the bird? Look, well, we got some food. I then added the finishing details to my base by placing a bunch of bamboo and building a second bed for our future armadillos. I'm, I'm just going to take it. I'm literally starving right now. Uh, what? what are you doing? What? What? What are you? It, it's, it's literally not what it It's exactly what it looks like. It's, it, it is exactly what it looks like. There is water on the floor because I ate the watermelon. I was hungry. <sighs> You don't want to hear me when I'm mad. I mean, when I'm hungry and crazy. No. Why? I'm sorry. I was literally starving. And there was melons here. I had to take it, okay? I, I put all my melons inside of the community melon thing. And then all the armadillos ate it. So, yeah. Oh, they want more. Now, underneath this podium, I built another room. We should have tried adding vines. But instead, she placed it in the wrong location. Bruh. Hello? I, I'm stuck. 
I, I, oh, oh no. <laughs> Bro, what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> you did it the wrong way. Boom, you grab shears and you shear it away. You see? Now it's back. Oh, but my vines. And there you go. Look, way better. You see it? You see what I'm talking about? Now, now it's, it's supposed to be like shades. So like when it goes down here, they're not going to see the secret entrance into our storage room. I have no more vines. That's okay. I don't think you need vines. Here. What? Have a melon. You're not you without a melon. Oh, oh not again. Oh, put me down. Days 47 to 50. We were on top of the armor cave and spotted a pyramid in the distance. So we went towards it. And as soon as we dug down to find the treasure, something exploded. While we were away from the base, the buff frog had snuck inside of our armor cave and stole our armadillos. All right, let's go ahead and add in the new blocks. To hey, yo, hey, yo, get back. Hey, what the heck? You see, come on, it's the buff frog. Hey, come back with our armadillos. We started chasing the buff frog, but he kept on hopping away. So I pulled out my bow and fired my arrows, but it was too late. I couldn't reach him anymore. And the buff frog had gotten in a way with our armadillo pack. Bro, what the heck? Are you kidding me? We just moved in and we just introduced the armadillos to our base and recruited them in our faction. And, and we just got the blocks to make it even prettier. You know what this means? What? What does that mean, Musina? Not to get them back. We gotta get revenge. It's the only way. Which means we go unchained. Un unchained? Wait, you, you mean like we're just gonna like kill everything? Yeah, like like the, the frogs? Wow, that's that's kind of dark, but okay. So we made our way back home and all I could think about was getting revenge on these frogs. Anyways, I added new leaves and magma blocks to the exterior of our base. I then spotted a lion and immediately ran inside. Oh, get in, get in, get in, hurry! Run, run, run! Bro, nature, you scary, dude. I was not about to become some lion food. Anyways, it was now time for the decorations. So I placed down this cartography table inside the treasure room. I then added more magma blocks to the inside of the base by placing it in the pond. All right, Mustina, let's go to sleep. Bro. Why do you look like that? What? On days 51 to 55, it was a full moon and I started hearing a deep howling in the distance. Guys, how many more melons can I give you? Those are kind of evil. All you want is my melons, bro. What, you, you want, the kitty wants some melons too right now? What, what's going on, Messina? No, no, no. What is I it? I see something. I see something. I see something. What do you see? I don't know. There's nothing out there. It's, we have a, Messina, it's going to be fine. We have a fence gate. <laughs> oh! Get back! Get, get the... Bro, what the heck? Oh, no. Is there more of them? Oh, there's so many coyotes. There's so many coyotes. The coyote pack had found our base and decided to ambush us. Oh, no! Don't let the coyotes... There's a zombie, too! I'm trying to... I'm trying to fight them off. Come on. Bro, what the heck is going on over there? Oh, there's, there's more. There's, there's more. Oh, no. I'm hiding in my shell. Oh, so many coyotes! I'm knocking them back. Oh. Right, it's okay, it's okay. I got the coyotes over here. The coyotes. Keep, keep fighting them, Musita. Dude, where, ah! where are they actually coming from? All I could do was stand my ground against these fierce coyotes while they just wanted to shred me apart. But I used my shell ability and my skills to fight them off one by one. Yo, this was a kind of strong. You know how to like outmaneuver you, Musita. What, Musita? Ah! Would you, would you, bro, where does she always go to? Bro, get away from me. Oh, oh my God. Lucina was screaming for help. She was surrounded by a bunch of coyotes. Now for me, I was low on health. And all I could do was hide in my shell. Lucina, I, I gotta, I gotta heal up. I gotta heal up. Don't, where's our armadillos when we need some serious help, bro? What in the world? Hide in your shells. Woohoo! A fellow armadillo literally rolled up on us and flattened out an entire pack of coyotes, instantly killing them. Now that was a move that I had to learn for myself. Bro. Are they gone? What? We're just... Is the spider Hello? gone? How did you do that? You mean roll? Huh? We, dude, look, Musina. He can roll. Oh, how can like we've been roll? hiding in our shells and you can literally roll, bro. Dude, it's literally not working. I can't roll. This armadillo's name was Niff. 
and it turns out he was the same armadillo that we saved from the board. And ever since then, he had been following us on our journey trying to become strong so he could help the armadillo family. So, who are you then? Have you been following us? Yeah. What? Yeah. I've, I've been part of your thing the whole time. Haven't you seen me? My name what? is Niff. No, I haven't seen you. Dude, this is like the first time I've seen you. Oh! Bro! You're so strong. I'm getting wrecked right now. Oh, no. Well, how come you get to roll and I don't get to roll? Bro, this... Well, see, yeah, I want to roll. Because you say, had to save me, I trained real hard to protect myself. And now I can protect you. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. So, uh, oh, dang okay. it, bro. Bro, he's trying to eat me. Everything's trying to kill me right now. How did I even get over here? Huh? Well, anyways, buddy, I see we go back inside because I'm not trying to have any more coyotes sneaking into my base. Oh, dude, there's even... I have one heart. Help! Help me! Oh! They're so... Nature! You are great! Seriously? Re really, bro? You guys gotta be kidding me. They're picking me up. So, buddy? That is so overpowered. You're just rolling into everything. I'll always be the one to save you. Yeah, yeah, totally gonna save me. Oh, those coyotes almost shredded us apart. <laughs> I will say. Um, wh whatever you say. Okay. Hey. Bro. The next day, it was training time, and Nif was flexing on us by rolling around. He's rolling around everywhere. Seriously? Are you kidding me? You really falling for this, Messina? Just because he can roll around doesn't mean, like, the coolest thing ever. But are you jealous? No, I'm not jealous, bro. Ow, my ankles, dude. I told Niff to stop making me look bad in front of Musina. No, Niff handed us a moose milk fruit. And by eating this, it would allow us to learn to roll like a dillo. Where'd you get this from? A moose milk fruit? I was just rolling dude. around and I found it. That's so sick, Musina. Hey, look. Huh? I'm exposing him. He ate this thing. That's what makes him roll. It's called a moose milk fruit. All right, well, if you, if you say I'm going to eat this, then it's going to transform me. Here we go. Mm, it's pretty busty. Okay, all right. Not bad at all. Oh, did, did I do anything? No way. Oh, let's go. All three of us now could roll as a pack. And with my new attack, these coyotes and frogs would stand no chance. I was finally going to reach my fullest potential. Look at me! Now we can all roll around like armadillos! This is perfect! I got an idea. I call this the double combo. We go boom, hide in the shell, and then we start rolling. Just like this. That's kind of cool. Hide in the shell and boom! That's perfect. Now we see that. Now that Niff taught us how to roll, I say we take him out. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was it was a joke. It was it was a joke. I, I'm not evil. What oh, is this my evil arch? <sighs> Yeah. Get more melons. Yeah, here you go. Take this. All right, guys, we got a serious problem on our hands. There's coyotes killing us, and there's a giant buff frog. He stole armadillos. But now that we can roll, I think that we gotta find him. Wait. And put an end to him. Is that a hippo? You say buff frog? Yeah, bro, a buff frog. This dude's been literally bullying us and taking our stuff and taking our armadillos. And now that we can roll, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll up on his face like this. Ah! I, mean, I know Whoa. all about this buff frog. Really? I mean, like, what do you mean by that? Oh! Ow! Ow! Ah, are scary! Yeah, dude, this is sick though. Look! I can just knock them back as far as. Uh, uh, they, they, they hurt. They hurt. And what do you know? It turns out that Nif had a map to the buff frog's base. I was starting to think that he was a bit sus. But then again, he just wanted to help. Why would I teach you that most powerful move? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because... It, you know what? He's got a good point there. Why, why would he teach us the most powerful move and give us the map? That doesn't make any sense. All right, well, <laughs> I say we uh, we go find this buff frog. Especially now that we can roll. So, on day 61 to 70, we followed a map and rolled all the way to the swamp biome. Plowing through a bunch of frogs and even gators. Yo, we're sending it! <laughs> Dude, these frogs ain't got nothing on the team, Moose. Let's go, baby. Bah! Take this! You ever seen an armadillo roll around big boy? Just like this. Dude, that was amazing. All right, so, Niff, uh, where are we going exactly? I'm trying to see what the heck... Oh, wait a minute. The castle. 
Oh, you mean that giant? Oh, wow. How come we never saw this before? There's literally a gigantic cast over here. Look at this thing. Yeah. Hold on. I hear a snail. Y'all hear that? Where's the snail? Oh, snail! Yeah. Let me get some. Big fish, big bully. All right, there you go. Got me a snail. So, um, where exactly is this buff frog at? Wow, so many little fireflies, too. Look at this. Uh, they're oh, I Bro, what the heck is this? Oh, oh, what is that? Gamma Bunta? <gasps> Gamma Bunta? Gamma Bunta? I'm surprised you didn't know this was here. Of course I didn't know this was here, but how did you even get the map? Well, I made it. If, I, I'm just gonna let you know, bro. I'm on to you. No funny business, you got that? No funny business with Musino. Oh, it's gonna be you. Ow, ow, put me down. Ah! Put me down. Never mind, it, help. It's okay, I got you. Dude. Alligators are dangerous. Just want to let you know. I saved you. Thank you. Turns out that the buff frog was named Gamma Bunta, and he lived inside of this giant castle. So, we might on the front and made our way to the center. So, where exactly is this frog anyways? Hmm? Where, where the heck is this dude at? I mean, it's not over here. <gasps> Lucina. No idea. Really? What? Is that you? It's not me. What do you mean? You just burped. No, I didn't. Niff, am I the only one that heard that? I heard it too, but it didn't sound like a um, Mucina bird. Hey guys, um, I think I found the frogs. Let's go! We gotta roll on in. Bro, Yo, frog in! Look at all these frogs, bro. In just under 30 seconds, we defeated the entire frog army by simply rolling. Yo, funny enough, they're not even doing damage to us. Take this! Oh, oh, that one's, that one's definitely gone. Is that it? This is his entire army? Feel kind of bad. Yeah, I do kind of feel bad. I mean, he's supposed to have a gigantic... Lucina, can you stop? I didn't do it. What do you mean you didn't do it? That was that was literally you. Frog, bruh. What, frog, bruh? Where's your army, frog, bruh? We walked into the throne room, and the buff frog started attacking us. Wait, I found him. This is it. Three armadillos now? Get off my turf, bruh. Oh, oh, snap. Yo, what the heck? Hey, we're here for armadillos. Give them back. And it doesn't have to end in a bad way. And by that, I mean we're going to beat you up, bro. Yeah, what are you trying to do? Get trapped in my bubbles. Bro, you look like you're trapping yourself in a grappling hook, you noob. <laughs> Let me get out of here. I need more frogs. Is he trying to jump around? Yo, I got a bow. Look at him. Look at him trying to jump away. I got a bow, too. Oh, he's got a bow. Oh, Yo, watch the bow. I got the flaming. Whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Bruh. I went up the stairs. And broke the wall so I could sneak up on the buff frog. Bruh. Here we go. Roll. Got him. Whoa. Yo, I'm dropping him down. Here he goes. Coming from behind. Try to grapple. You guys got him? Yeah, I got this. Him down. I'm dropping down no. on him. Hold him back. Not in the corner. Yo, come on, guys. Get him. He started using his bubble beam, trapping me in these floating bubbles. What the heck is this, bro? Oh, come on. Bro, he's literally got me in a bubble. What in the world? Take Ow. That. Ooh, oh, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Niff, take over. I gotta eat a snail. I need to grapple out of here somewhere, bros. Go get him, Musina. There he is. Frog army, get over here. Ah. Dude, look at all these frogs. Yo, he just summoned his frogs and they all exploded. We all teamed up on the buff frog by countering his attacks and knocking him back into corners and dealing damage whenever we could. Yo, come on, Travis. Bubbles. Ah. Dude, those bubbles are it's like surprisingly working, bro. <laughs> They're like trapping us. Oh, Nip's in a bowl. Ow, ow, ow. Yes. We got him. Wow. And finally, we defeated the buff frog. And now, we didn't have to worry about these stinky frogs and could eat as many as we want. So, we found a trap armadillos guarded by frogs and broke them out of the cages. Oh, and I found a barrel containing a god apple and a totem of undying. The next morning, they had found the treasure. What the heck is this? What I've been searching for this entire time. What is that? Is that a watermelon? The armor, armor fruit. What do you mean by an armor, armor fruit, Niff? What are you talking about, dude? Uh, what is the armor, armor fruit? What the heck is this over here? You remember how that fruit you ate that made you big? Uh huh. This will make you bigger. This was the same fruit that Scar was talking about. We also got ourselves top hats and boxing gloves. He has also got a top hat. It's above your head. We took a. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, hold on a second, dude. It's on your head, bro. It's floating. Top hats. Yo, both of your top hats are floating. <laughs> so it's yours. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I see it. <laughs> this is amazing, dude. Look. Yo, can I roll with the top hat on? No. Oh, it doesn't work. Dang it, dude. 
Oh, that would have been fun. Now, we all officially had top hats floating above our heads. And most importantly, these boxing gloves. Anyways, it took us a few days to bring the armadillos back to our base. And to our surprise, the coyote pack was outside, just waiting to eat us. Yo, these coyotes just don't learn. Oh, did you see that? Oh, look at this. Masita, go get him. Show what you got, Masita. Come on, Masita. I gotta see you. you do, yeah, you go. Boom, get him. Look at Masita. Now she can actually, like, destroy them instantly. Yo, these boxing gloves are pretty powerful, right? It just, like, instantly one-shots them. Oh, uh -oh. there's more of them. Yo, get back. I got you. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. What the heck? Get All right. We finally returned our friends back to the armor cave. And now our armadillos could feel safe once again. Now that we had these crazy boxing gloves. There's coyotes. Coyotes? What do you mean coyotes, bro? Coyotes? They're in the base. Yo, they're in my bed. Yo, what the heck, dude? Get these coyotes back. Oh. Oh, no. That's it? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I totally forgot how uh, powerful these uh, boxing gloves are. Well, it was a long day. And before we all got ready for sleep, I made an announcement. Declaring war on the coyote pack. It was time to get our vengeance. It was the morning of day 76 to 80. I walked outside with my armor armor fruit and came across an elephant. But Niff rolled over it. Niff, I said to move him, not kill him. Whoa. Okay, you know what? Forget, forget about it. So we got these things called the armor armor fruit. Now apparently it's supposed to turn us into a buff armadillo. But here's the thing. Where's the arms? I don't understand. It, it, like what, what, what part of, oh, is that the arms? It's gone. All right, everybody. Grab your armor, armor fruit, and let's give it a little taste test. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Not bad at all. Okay, yeah, not bad. Okay. Kind of tasty. <laughs> so oh, oh. We transformed into buff armadillos, and our bodies were super chiseled. And we had giant shells on our backs that could withstand pretty much anything. Also, these beautiful antlers that kind of made us look like reindeer. I'm going to eat the fruit. You try it out. What's going to happen to you? Whoa. Ah. What? Dude. You look just like me. Wow. I got to say, bro, we're kind of beautiful. <laughs> now, what about Masita? What are you going to look like? Oh, uh, now I'm scared. Just try it out. Let's see Wait. what happens to Masita. Armadillos have antlers? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're right. You know? Whoa. Whoa. There was three buff armadillos. Masita had antlers with a bow tie and lipstick. While Nif had headphones on. Bro, why are you buff? You look like that. It, but, but you're just as buff as us. That's what I don't understand. And I'm just as scary, if not scarier. I think you're definitely you're, you're definitely more terrifying. You're looking into my soul right now. <laughs> I wonder oh, what no. all the armadillos are gonna think. Wait, the question is though, can we even like fit inside of our base anymore? We were so big that we couldn't even fit through our foot entrance. But best of all, we each had over 100 health and went inside of our shells. We could withstand anything, and our rollability was drastically upgraded. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. But, oh, it's coyotes! Get back! Nope! Stay away. Dude, they're not even doing anything. What, what's the point? These, these coyotes don't even stand a chance anymore. You want some of this? You ever seen an armadillo box somebody before? What? What? Take this! Knock him out! Wow, oh, this is pretty OP. So, for the rest of the day, we practiced these amazing fighting skills they had a boxing showdown against these coyotes outside the armadillo cave. We've already dealt with the buff frog, so now it's time for the coyotes. Bwah! But you can't do this. What is it? How did you... What? Huh? It looks like I'm about to change your diaper, bro. Literally. No longer would we tolerate the coyotes' threats. Days 81 to 85. Niff and Musina were having another boxing showdown. They were trying to figure out which of them was the strongest. Well, let's be honest. Musita is literally crazy. Wait, guys, look. Look over there. You see it? It's a rhino. Let's go mess it up. You want something to box? We're going to box a rhino. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? I How you, what are you going to do? It's... It's... Wait, where, where is she? What? what I, Musita, how? How do you... Hey, chill. This rhino's... All right, the rhino is strong. Musina, you might be buffing all, but you're kind of clumsy. I'm just going to let you know right now. You're a little bit clumsy. There you go. 
Not that there you crazy. go. We were searching for the coyote pack. And right in front of us were giant bones sticking out of the floor. And a few coyotes surrounding it. So we rolled on in, destroying anything our way. And as we got closer, we spotted a mini tornado. Look at this thing. It's like a volcano. Well, that, that's not a volcano. That's, that's a tornado, bro. Yo, get this thing. What the heck is it doing? It's a little tornado. Oh. oh. Close. Oh. Ow. Yo, it's sucking me in. Yo, what the heck? Yo, chill. <laughs> Ow. Ow, what the, what's going on? This is an armadillo's <laughs> number one weakness. Moose. What's up, buddy? Ow. I'm stuck. Where you? Uh, how is everybody getting stuck? Hmm. The tornado. It brought me down here. Don't you see me? Oh. Um. Yeah. Let me. Uh. Let, let, let me just help you with that, bro. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> it just all collapsed. Swim. Swim, buddy. Swim. Let me fight off the rest of these coyotes. Oh. Uh, oh. Step. This little one. Oh no. Here we go. Get inside the thing. There we go. And oh, I'm being sucked in. <laughs> Roll in. What? Got him. Oh God. Easy, dude. I got a coyote. Musita, you got the rest of them. Show them your rolling skills, Musita. Show them what you got. Get over <laughs> you, you just you're like a you're like a gigantic truck just running over things. I was searching for the coyote leader. In the distance, I spotted this camp. The heck is that over there? You all see like a blue uh is, is that a blue wolf? It, it, it was, it's like a coyote. The heck is that? Why does it- Oh, it breathes fire! It breathes fire! Is that a hippo? Oh, I don't know. Did you see a hippo? Oh, well, hippos yeah, are kind of weird, bro. Where oh, there's a hippo. hippo. Get out of here! Wow. Aww, that thing just flew away. I spotted the same purple coyote from before. And turns out, he was the leader of the coyote camp. So, we rushed on in, ready to fight. You come to our base camp, and you mess up our stuff. Now we're gonna mess you up. The armadillo way. I call this the boxing match way. Bro, I feel like we're like in a in a YouTuber boxing match or, <laughs> or something like that. Oh, oh, oh no. It's got explosions. What is the thing? The coyote leader was not only able to breathe fire, but he could also fire these exploding attacks. But it didn't stop Musina from boxing him away. Oh, I punched him. Show him, show him what you got. Ah! Use your up uppercut. Hit him with the left. Oh! Okay! Never mind! Get back! But Got the coyotes? Lucina, you can deal with that one. <laughs> Let me go see if there's anything else left over here. What is this thing? Got Some him. kind of a gigantic sword. What is that? Hold on a second. I think I have an idea. Oh! I got it! Bro, you see this thing? It's Skulk Netherite Sword. It's got like 40 attack damage. That's like ah. triple our boxing gloves almost. Oh! No, no! You want some of this, huh? All right, everybody, roll, roll in. There we go. Push him back. Did we push him back? Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. He's in the water. Did he get flying? I don't know. Come on, get in there. Oh, you watch out. He's throwing things at me. Yeah, I'm gonna hide in the shell. You guys push him back. Here we go. All right, and I'm going in with the Skulk Netherite Sword. Oh, what? Um, what? I just. I just one shot it, literally. With a, with a single hit of the Skulk Sword, we destroyed the leader of the Coyotes. And afterwards, we loaded the base and found ourselves a Vulture Totem, which made the user invincible for a few seconds. On day 86, we rolled through the desert, and as the sun started to set, we found a spot to set up camp through the night. And in front of us was this glowing jungle village. Any last words? Uh, not, not, not like in a weird way. Like I'm not trying to like you know like 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 uh, kill anybody here or, or anything like that. It's, it's not like that at all. You're trying you to kill that, us? That no, 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 no. I was just saying like see, before we go to sleep. Like you guys want to say anything? I mean, we just had we, we went through a whole journey and all. And I got I got a cool sword and you know we, we've been through a lot. So I just thought it'd be like necessary to. <sighs> I don't know where I'm getting at with this. No, no, it's okay. Well, we were all exhausted, and these phantoms were trying to mess with us. So we all went to sleep. And if somehow, I fell asleep on his back. And suddenly, I started having another nightmare. <gasps> I woke up in the middle of nowhere with a giant castle in the distance. We see no way. I got some breakfast. Here we go. Here you go. Here you go. Golden carrot. Eat, eat this. Eat this. All right. 
And uh, did somebody just like smack me in my face real quick? Just, just, just somebody, just somebody punch me in my face. Ow! You, you definitely enjoyed that, didn't you? <laughs> Listen, guys. Um, I don't want to be that dude, but we're in a bad situation. We're all inside of this weird dimension. This is what I was telling you about, Musina. When we first met, I, I had this dream that I, that I met this guy named Scar. And it was in this weird dimension, and, and now we're all here. So I don't know what that campfire did to us. You, you okay there? <laughs> you good, Musina? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what that campfire did to us, but... Oh, no. There he is. Look. Mm -hmm. Niv? Musina? That's him. That's, th that's Scar right there. Hey! Scar! <sighs> I'm so mad right now! What do you guys want? What are you mad about, bro? Uh, well, first the frogs, and then the coyotes, and now the copper golems. What do you mean? No one likes me anymore. Well, I know. Okay, bro, but why did you even bring us here? And and, and why Musina and Nif? What, what, what they got to do with this? You were you were the one talking to me. I need your help. Well, I, I just thought I'd bring you both your friends, especially this guy. He seems kind of smart. So Th that's, uh, I need you. That, that's Musina. That uh. Yeah. I can't tell the difference, okay? But, okay, first, hey. I need you to go to the nether. I, I have some coordinates in that book. And please just respawn whoa, 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 whoa. anchor. That's all I need, okay? So Scar had given us a mission to place down a respawn anchor inside of the nether in order to summon him. I try to save us. I try to kill off all the factions, the coyotes, the frogs, you name it. Even the copper gold is going to help me. Whoa, so, well, why would you do that? that yeah, uh, Nif, I don't know about this, bro. This, this guy's a little crazy. So, well, no one I likes mean, me. Somebody named after a mark on their body? Yeah, you got a fair point there. Exactly. That yeah. sounds a little... Uh, oh. That's why no one liked me. Okay. How did he get in your dream anyway? Yeah, how did we... We're in a dream right now and you're giving us items. You know what? Nothing that makes sense in, in, in this world. <sighs> Here. Take another pickaxe. And uh, yes. please Nether help me. Nether respawn points. Alright, Scar, I, I guess we'll we'll go figure this out for you, buddy. But just don't do anything crazy, okay? As a fellow armadillo friend, we're gonna help you out. I mean you you, you are gigantic. You literally yeah. What was what, what was that? Yippee! Sorry, wait, I just keep on doing weird things. Bye bye! Bye? Um, um he was crazy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. He's a well he I mean he's a, he's like us. He's the one that told us about the armor armor fruit. Like do do we help him out? Like if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this fruit here. I don't know about this man. He's the one that told us about this armor armor fruit. And, and without this, we'd not have been buffed. We've been tiny little armadillos just getting eaten by coyotes. And, and, and then what will we do? I don't think that's necessarily true. We were really tough even when we were tiny. Remember this? Well, Lucina had a good point. We were tough even before we met Scar. So, anyways, we agreed to his plan and went back to sleep. Days 87 to 92. We woke up in the morning and dug straight down into a cave. Inside there, we found some diamonds and obsidian and created a portal to the nether. Hello? Hello? Oh, Musina, you're here. Hey. Wait, where's Nif? Nif? And once we got inside, we rolled over to the location that Scar had given us, bringing us to this place. So we built on up these nether towers and fought off the zombie piglins that started swarming us. We found four floating potions on top of a podium with diamond blocks underneath. What the heck is this though? I will, I will test it for you. Test it for me? What are you testing? Let me see it. It says it's spin kick infusion. Spin kick infusion? What the heck is that about? Drink it. All right, I'm drinking it. Here we go. And now I can it's do- It's kind of funky. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Whoa. Ability unlocked. Uh, whoa, look at me. What are you doing? Oh, no way. Hold on a second. We can do like a combination over here. So I can first, I can just keep it rolling. And then as I roll, as soon as I unroll, I do this. Bah! Spin kick. Oh, this is sick! Yeah. And I can spin kick the enemies away! Well, now we're talking. Hey! Piglins! You want some of this? Yeah, get get away from- get away from me! Oh, oh no. Here they go. 
Oh, nice. These ones are a little bit tougher than usual. They're, they're a little bit, a little bit stronger. Ah! We kept defeating the piglins guarding this nether tower. But Lucina kept on falling through the holes. Neff, let's go save everybody. Come on. Not Don't again. you worry. We're on the way, Musina. Where'd you go? Musina. Oh! Oh! Hey! Welcome! I got to the it! Tower. Please don't fall off again. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is an edge. We got to the end of the Nether Towers and found a location to place the respawn anchor. But Musina, once again, fell in the lava. Bruh. Biff, where is she? She's down there. Oh! Oh no! Musina! Musina! Yeah! Come on! April, do not die in the lava. Get up, I'm get up, get up. To... Come on, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, bro, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, Just, I'm not dead. Oh. All right, meet us up here, please. Okay, okay. We finally placed the respawn anchor, added three glowstone blocks to power this thing, and gave the last one to Messina. Put the last one in. Just, just right click it. I can put the last one. How did you? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you? No! <laughs> like, like how? <laughs> I placed the last glowstone, and it summoned Scar back to our world. Nope. Oh, ah! Get back! Wait, is that? Is that who I think it is? No, it cannot be. It, it's Scar. <laughs> Finally, I'm free! I've spent so long inside of that world, just withering away. What's happening? I don't know. You just showed up out of nowhere. So, let me get this straight. The reason you're here is because we summoned you and... Were you just using us this entire time? Is, is that what's going on? Hmm? Not using you! Just mentoring you! What? And now that I have my body back... It's time to get rid of those coyotes and frogs and cleanse this world! Wait, wait, hold on! You can't do this, Scar. You can't just exterminate an entire population and just leave them to be. You can't do that, they were armadillos! I'll see you around. What? Oh. Are you kidding me? I told you, man. I told you. Scar had his mind made up. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. Now, I had to defeat my very own mentor. Ew. So, we rolled on out and started chasing Scar. is like, yeah, you're the reason, Moose. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Let's roll on out of here. Days 93 to 95, we were on a mission to find Scar and put a stop to his evil plan. So, we traveled to the Swamp Bomb and found him destroying the entire frog population. No! Oh! What the heck was that? No! Uh... You guys seen that? I think I see him. Take that frog! Oh yeah, he's over there. Come on, guys! Stop this, bro! Leave the frogs alone! I mean, I don't like him anyway. Oh, and they're 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 all gone. Scar, get back here! No! Come on, guys! We gotta catch up! We tried our best to catch up to Scar, but he was too fast. I even tried using my bow, but I wasn't able to land my shots. So, Lucina wanted us to be peaceful to the frogs and the coyotes, especially while Scar was hunting them down. Yeah, and then how are we supposed to eat frogs if he wipes out the whole entire frog population? But it's gonna mess up the nature. The issue, I mean, I, I, I know, but for now, I think we should refrain from hunting coyotes. All right, fine. No more coyotes or frog hunting. We will be peaceful. Unless they bite me. Then then, then I have every right to eat them. Yes, exactly. Then then you have every right. But, like, if we're going to save them, we okay, shouldn't... Okay, fine. Look, they make some great mounts. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> March. Uh, that would be if they, you know, moved. March, frog. I mean, that's not a frog. That's a coyote. Go! Go, coyote, go! I don't think it's, I don't think it's doing anything. Yo, where the heck is he going? No, Scar! No. Stop this already! Oh! Yo, he's just... It looks like look he at him! A... Oh, no! Leave the oh, coyotes bro. alone! That is... That's just... We chase Scar throughout the jungle, trying our best to stop him from destroying the coyotes. I just couldn't figure out why he would backstab his own kind. With the blink of an eye, Scar's Super Saiyan launched his way out of here. 
And just like that, we lost him. Score! Wait! What you, what the, come back! How, how did he just do that? What, where did he go? What? Bruce. Oh, bro. I don't know what to do anymore. He's gone. How? That was oh, so quick! No. I, like, blinked for a second and... We don't even know which way he went. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. He's literally completely gone. I think we just, just, let's just... Let's just head back home. How about that? All right? Uh, let's make sure that our, our armadillos are gonna be safe. That's the most important part. Well, it was finally days 96 to 99, and we could not give up. So, we returned back to the armor cave and found Scar right outside, trying to become the new leader of our pack. Awful! What is Scar doing here? Yo, he's so fast! No, no! What the heck? He's messing up everybody! Scar, stop messing with our animals! Get Scar! Yo, I can't even... No, hey, those are our friends! Friend. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? We got boxing gloves, you noob! We can punch you back a harder. Uh-oh. No. Scar. Uh -oh. Scar, you got to relax, dude. Stop messing everybody up. I understand you got your body back. You're feeling good. You're feeling powerful and buff and all. But, dude, you're, you're going too far, man. Here's the thing. You armadillos are not worthy to lead the armadillo faction. Now that I'm back, I won't make the same mistake twice. I'll be in charge of the armadillo pit forever! We're not worthy? You're the one killing everybody! You should not have that kind of power! Lucina, get him! Get him off guard! I'm getting Wait, him! What? what? No! Dang it, you missed! Come I on. know, I'm sorry! Right, we need a strategy. Listen, there's three of us, and there's one of him. If we just keep punching him around like that, there he goes working, look! I'll punch him towards you, you guys punch him back. We'll play some volleyball over here. I call this armadillo <laughs> volleyball. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, maybe he's a little bit stronger than I expected. But it was three against one. And all of us worked together to overpower Scar and actually did some damage. We made sure not to hold back any of our powers. So we used our combos with our boxing gloves. Harry with our spin kick ability, tossing Scar around, but it was barely doing damage. Here we go. Come oh, on. this heal a lot more than I thought. Oh, and you do. So we made a new strategy. Musita would toss Scar towards me, while I would use my Skulk Sword to deal maximum damage. And as for Nif, he would play the most important role, hiding and absorbing all of Scar's damage, and finally release our most powerful attack. Did I just? Is he? Did, oh, what happened? Did Nif come out of his shell? Uh -oh. Yep. Uh oh. I think the server just died. Oh god. I just did too much damage. What happened? I don't know. I think we did so much damage that the server broke. We <laughs> did it! Is that we did it! <laughs> we did it! I never expected that we would accidentally disintegrate Scar into thin air with their most powerful attack. Well, I guess you can say to not mess with a buff armadillo. So the next time you think about running over an armadillo, think twice. You, you, know, you never know when a buff armadillo will pop out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, wait, the armadillos! Ah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go check on the armadillos. You gotta make sure they're all good. Oh, it was finally day 100, and we were ready to celebrate. Look at the zebras! Look at this little guy! And look at that guy! Oh, it's adorable! Oh, but see, I, I know you're loving the animals and all, but, uh, no. Oh, but can we keep it? Uh, 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 th th that's, ex that's exactly why I said no. Well, see, do you want a, you want a zebra? Trying to think yeah. an armadillo was food. Hmm? What? What if what if it's eating some grass and it just starts eating our armadillos, especially the babies? Food. No, it's not gonna eat the armadillos. I know, I know it's adorable and all, but I'm telling you. But he's stuck. <sighs> he's. I can I can I can fix that. Moose. <laughs> I, I did not. I did not need <laughs> that. I, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I did not. What is it, buddy? What, what, what are you? What are you trying to tell me? I think, I think I killed Scar. Wait, what? You, you killed Scar? Yes. Who see this crying over a zebra while chilling yeah. next to a kangaroo? And you tell me you killed Scar? Yes. Just watch. What? What do you mean? Oh! Ow, dude, Nip, chill. That's what? an elephant, bro. What are you doing to the elephant? You see that? You that's him. It. It, it's not me. Okay. Oh, what the? Uh, oh, he, the server's gone. He did it again. What the heck? How is that possible? It was just that powerful. Bro, 
Oh! Where, where'd it go? It's gone. Ow! Dude! Dude, what the heck? Let me try this on the kangaroo. So if I keep doing this, do I just go... This kangaroo is powerful. Niff! Niff, help! He's trying to kill me! Bah! Niff, no! He did it. I'm sorry. That was an accident, honestly. But hey, on the bright side, we got the armor armor fruit. So what this means is our whole entire family will be buff armadillos. That's right. We will be the first faction with buff armadillos. Uh, why is there a copper golem in our base? What is... What are you at? What is that thing? Is he just... Is he breeding them? There's two copper golems. What is going on here? And what the... They just... What's happening? What the heck is that? Is it a flying... What is that? Huh? That same copper golem that told me where the adultus fruit was brought a gift for me. It was a baby warden dragon. I'm not sure who this baby belonged to, but now it was my responsibility to take care of him. Down here! Hey! Ow! Oh, they don't like you. Oh yeah, don't don't mess with them. Well, this is my pet warden dragon. You like it? Yeah, it looks adorable and dangerous at the same time. Uh, so what do you? Do you want it? I, I, I do I have a choice? No. What? Okay. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. Why? Why even? Oh. Okay. All right. Just, just see you later, I guess. Thank you. Bye bye. Get, get out of here. Get, get out of here. What just? What just happened? Did, did we just become? I think you're a dad. I think we're all. I think we're all parents now. <gasps> all right, Lucina, you're the mom. I'm the dad, and and you're the. I'm the uncle. You're the uncle. That works too. All right, sweet. Oh man. No, Lucina. No. We have our first child together. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? I don't want to hear it. No, no, never mind. I'm I don't know. Here. No, 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 no. You gotta take responsibility. No, no, I will not take responsibilities. You, I'm out of here. You have to take You'll never take me alive. Subscribe. Come back, Arma Daddy.